Hi, it's Mr. Mike here from the Sherburn Public Library with another episode of Storytime. Well, it looks like the sun is out today and sunshine, but what would you do if it was raining? If you're going outside, you would need your umbrella. So let's do our poem about our umbrella. Ready? Put up your umbrella when the rain comes down. Wear a happy smile and wipe away the frown. Splash in all the puddles and do a little dance. Rain is just the things we need for new spring plants. Great. Speaking of things growing, how about what's growing on the trees right now? Leaves. Leaves are growing on the trees, on the trees, on the trees. Leaves are growing on the trees. It is springtime. All the grass is turning green, turning green, turning green. All the grass is turning green. It is springtime. Watch the flowers start to grow, start to grow, start to grow. Watch the flowers start to grow. It is springtime. What sound does a duck make? Little ducks go quack, 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 quack. Little ducks go quack, quack, quack. It is springtime. Bunnies go hop, hop, hop. Little bunnies go hop, 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 hop. Little bunnies go hop, hop, hop. It is springtime. Little chicks go peep, peep, peep. Little chicks go peep, 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 peep. Little chicks go peep, peep, peep. It is springtime. Okay, great. Speaking of little chicks, our chicks are in their eggs. Let's count the eggs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's sing ten little eggs. One little, two little, three little eggs. Four little, five little, six little eggs. Seven little, eight little, nine little eggs. Ten little chicks in their eggs. Great. Now, later on, we're going to need to know the difference between these two colors. Do you know what color this is? It's green. And this is blue. So I have a song about green to help us remember. Green is the color of clover. Green is the color of grapes. Green is the color of the cloth used in making a leprechaun's cape. Green, green, name something green. What can you think of that's green? What can you think of that's green? The grass. Yeah, the grass is green. Green is the color of clover. Green is the color of grapes. Green is the color of the cloth used in making a leprechaun's cape. Green, green, name something green. What can you think of that's green? Well, yeah, maybe. How about the leaves on the trees? They're green. I also have a song for our color blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. B-L-U-E spells blue. Hi-ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. The sky is blue. The sky is blue. Hi-ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. The ocean is too. The ocean is too. 
Hi ho, did you know? B L U E spells blue. That's a tricky one, but it can be lots of fun. So remember our colors blue and green, the color of my tie there, my bow tie. Okay, we are ready now for something that's blue and green the earth. This story is my friend earth. And this person here represents earth. And we're going to listen and find out all the things earth does for us. Look, she's in a, a leaf. My friend earth. Written by Patricia McLaughlin. Illustrated by Francesca Sada. Sleeping or awake? Sleeping. <gasps> My friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. Oh, look. What do you see or hear? It's a bird. She hears the busy spring sounds. The farmer's hoe tapping in the garden. The cause of crows. She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. And the large, the long-winged albatross crossing the seas, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. And the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where the sun dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. <coughs> Excuse me. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss. And the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mitten feet. She guards all the creatures and all the oceans. The black, the black manta rays sleek like shadows. The shining parrotfish. The tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big. And the whales who are big. Wow, the sound of whales. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams. Flowing down mountains. Through the fields to the rivers, to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads, until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Until she stills the wind, so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground.
when cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent. Covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness. Drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nest of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching. Hear all the animals snoring and breathing, sleeping. Waiting. Oh, look, Earth is asleep. <gasps> to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. Earth starts her journey all again. My friend Earth. And, and we were reading that in celebration of Earth Day, which will be tomorrow, Saturday, April 22nd. My friend Earth. Now friend begins with the letter F. And that's going to be our letter today. F. Let's sing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? So the letter F, can you think of some things that begin with the letter F? Let's go look for the letter F. Let's go look for the letter F. Let's go look for the letter F. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up F's and putting them in the basket. Picking up F's and putting them in the basket. Picking up F's and putting them in the basket way down yonder in the library. So, what do we eat with? A fork! And a fork begins with the letter F. Can you make the F sound? F, F. Okay, up next we have a feather. Feather begins with the letter F. F, F, feather. Ooh, next we have a football. Football begins with the letter F. Football. And here we have a fish. Fish begins with the letter F. Fish. Ooh, what number is this? Four. Four also begins with the letter F. Here we use this to keep us cool, a uh, fan, fan, f fan. Ooh, uh, up next we have a, a fox. Fox begins with the letter F, fox. And here we have our capital F and our lowercase f. So those are all things that begin with the letter F. Now, if you come to the library, you can find some books that also have the letter F on them. For example, if you find a leaf, there's an F. Ooh, there's an F hiding at the end. And here is a real fancy F at the end of a word. Let's count the Fs. One, two, three. If you find a leaf. Wakanda forever, the courage to dream. Forever begins with the letter F. Love is my favorite thing. Favorite begins with the letter F. Fourteen monkeys, a rainforest rhyme. Fourteen begins with the letter F. And forest also begins with the letter F. Here we have a farmhouse. 
farmhouse begins with the letter F. The family business. Family begins with the letter F. Here we've got how to help a friend. Friend begins with the letter F. Olivia and the fairy princess. Here is a very fancy F. Fairy begins with the letter F. Oh, here's another Olivia book. Olivia forms a band. Forms. There's the lowercase f that we talked about. So those are all books you can come check out at the library. Now back to our colors, blue and green. So again, if you come to the library, I have a craft that we can do. And what it is, is it's got two pieces of paper. There's a paper plate and a paper that's sort of like this is North America and South America, and we actually live right here in the middle of North America. And we're going to paint those different colors. For example, we're going to paint the oceans blue. Blue. Do you remember our song about blue? B-L-U-E spells blue. B-U-L-E spells blue. Hi-ho, did you know? B-L-U-E spells blue. The ocean is blue. The ocean is blue. Hi-ho, did you know? The ocean is blue. So we would paint the ocean part, which is this part here and this part over here and a little bit up here. All the water would be painted blue. Then once we're doing painting that blue, we'll pull this off and then we'll paint this part green. Green is the color of clover. Green is the color of grapes. Green is the color of the cloth used in making a leprechaun's cape. Green, green, name something green. What can you think of that's green? And then once you're done painting and it dries, I have some stickers. Because it's Earth Day, we want to give the Earth some love and care. Look at, we've got Happy Face sticker. We want to show our Earth lots of love and care. Can you think of some ways we can show our Earth love and care? We can recycle things and we can pick up things and throw things away that belong in the trash and turn off the lights and turn off the water when we're not using them. All ways to take care of our earth. Awesome. So that brings us to the end of story time today. So instead of being a teddy bear, I would like you to be the planet Earth. We'll use our teddy bear song and sing planet Earth. Planet Earth, planet Earth, Turn around, planet Earth, planet Earth, touch the ground. Planet Earth, planet Earth, don't uh, re no tie your shoe. Planet Earth, planet Earth, that will do. Planet Earth, planet Earth, reach up high. Planet Earth, planet Earth, touch the sky. Planet Earth, planet Earth, don't you sigh. Planet Earth, planet Earth, wave goodbye. Uh, Mr. Mike made some mistakes there, but you know what? It's okay to make mistakes. We just keep on singing. So that's it for today. Have a great day and keep on reading.